There's been a lot of talk about an active weekend in South Bend with our officers. Is this true? Was it a more active weekend than normal? Yeah, a little bit more than normal, but unfortunately, um, these parades of vehicles and shots fired um, seems to be normal and it shouldn't be that way. So I saw all the social media posts uh, over the weekend and uh, usually they aren't accurate. Uh, one of them was uh, where it talked about uh, how the officers had to deal with these uh, outrageous calls over the weekend, especially Saturday into Sunday. We also saw that St. Joe County Police assisted on some calls. Is that normal? Was that random? So we have an understanding with the St. Joe County Police, vice versa. Um, we will help them if needed and they will help us if needed. Um, it's not very often, but they have helped us and they did come in and help us this weekend, uh, this past weekend and, and uh, talking to the sheriff. Uh, if we need the help again this coming weekend, he will, he will help us out. There was talk about hundreds of cars through South Bend that our officers had to deal with. What was that about? So uh, I know it went from maybe 100 or so to a couple hundred. It was well more than a couple hundred. It was between two and 400 cars um, that, for whatever reason, typically it's either Western Avenue or Lincoln Way, um, either heading from the west into downtown or vice versa. Um, and we have nothing but problems associated with that. It's not just dangerous with people hanging out of their car windows, uh, speeding, drag racing up and down the street. It's not just vehicles, it's motorcycles as well. Um, and just acting foolish, taking a chance of somebody getting se uh, severely hurt or getting killed doing these things. What about shots fired? Because we have shot spotter technology, we learn about a lot of shots fired through South Bend, over 100 this weekend. Is that abnormal? Yeah, it was roughly 103. Um, and that count is just in the known shot spotter areas, uh, predominantly the northwest side of town. Uh, we had shots fired all over the city, but that is what we know for sure occurred with the shots fired. And, and that in and of itself is ridiculous. There's 103 minimum chances of that bullet, a bullet coming down and hitting somebody. Sadly enough, that's not really shocking though to our department, maybe the public hearing about it for the first time, but that's not really abnormal for our officers to respond to, right? Well, when you talk about maybe uh, referring to like a routine basis, uh, yeah, unfortunately we're responding to these calls on a routine basis, but it is shocking to us that people would act this way to do these uh, quite frankly stupid things and take the chances where somebody is going to get severely hurt or killed. It makes absolutely no sense whether it's in a vehicle, on a motorcycle, firing shots in the air, it's irrelevant. A, a car is a 4,000 pound bullet and motorcycles, you know, a couple hundred pounds of, of something dangerous. What about these vehicle pursuits we're hearing about too? Did that happen? The, the vehicle pursuits did happen. Uh, we had at least four vehicle pursuits uh, over the weekend. Um, it wasn't just us, there were other agencies involved as well. Um, each situation was different. One of them did uh, start because of this, uh, for lack of a better term, parade, again, that, that um, started over the weekend, again, Saturday into Sunday. It puts everybody in the community, not just the people in this uh, so-called parade, uh, in jeopardy, but our officers and the entire community as well. And then when you try to stop somebody to say, hey, look, it's very dangerous when you have people hanging out the window and they take off, um, they just jeopardize everybody in that car, everybody around them, and that should not be happening. We did make a lot of arrests over the weekend though. We did, we had a, a, a minimum of eight arrests just over uh, the Saturday into Sunday. And this went to about almost five o'clock in the morning. Um, we had over 20 arrests uh, this past week, all firearm related. Uh, and again, so we're doing our part when it comes to that. It's still not enough, and that's a shame that's not enough. It should never be that number of 20. It should, it should be zero. That's the number we're looking for, um, but we cannot do it ourselves. Somebody has to say something. Speaking of firearms, a lot of the public don't ever hear about this aspect. We took a lot of guns off the street this weekend. We did. Uh, besides those eight arrests, we took five guns, five handguns, and one was a, uh, a AK-47. Um, that was not only uh, had, but it was used. Gosh, that's scary. It, it is. Those bullets have to come down somewhere, period. Uh, and we may not even know. Maybe one of those bullets did hit somebody and we haven't found out yet. They could be in their backyard that nobody can see or in a garage or in a house and we don't know about yet. It could be, you know, an elderly person that, that was, is home alone. And obviously with the pandemic going on, uh, people aren't able to check on them. And it, I, you just don't know. And why would you take that chance? You don't get a do-over uh, when that bullet leaves that barrel. Is there anything else you want to say in reference to this busy weekend or what we've been seeing in South Bend lately? It, it is. I, you know, whether it's social media or elsewhere, you know, the police need to do this or police need to fill in the blank. No, we are an extension of our community. 
and the community has got to step up. We will help as much as we can, but we cannot do this all alone. To throw it on us is, is totally un, unfair and it's unreasonable. We, we will do whatever we can to do our job, but not for the sake of doing our job. It's for the sake of protecting our community and our community is operative, our community. And we will do what we have to do based on what our community tells us. And right now they're not telling us very much.